This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PiKet says, simplify 2x times negative x squared minus x plus 1. Again, on the actual ASVAB and PiKet, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, I'd recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper, since you'll have to do that on test day anyways. To simplify this expression, we have to take this 2x and distribute it to each of these terms in parentheses via multiplication like so. And truthfully, you should be able to do this part mentally. If you're not at the point where you can multiply uh, terms mentally, you need to go back and watch my video on multiplying polynomials. So let's get started. We have 2x times negative x squared. That's going to be negative 2x to the third. Then we have 2x times negative x. That's going to be negative 2x squared. And then finally, we have 2x times 1. Again, anything times 1 is just itself. So 2x times 1 is just 2x. All right, so our answer is going to be negative 2x to the third minus 2x squared plus 2x. And we can see that that is answer choice A. Now, in case you couldn't do this part mentally, let me show you how to do it uh, using the laws of exponents. Again, if it's helpful, put a 1 in front of this x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then that leaves us with x times x squared. Well, in order to multiply this, you have to know one of the laws of exponents called the product rule, which says if you have a to the m times a to the n, that's the same thing as a to the m plus n. That is to say you add their exponents. Technically, there's a 1 here. So this would become x to the 1 plus 2, which is x to the third power. So that's how I got the third power there. Again, 2x times negative x. Uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then we have x times x. Again, technically, there's a 1 here and a 1 here. According to the product rule, this would become x to the 1 plus 1, which is x squared. You should not need to write it out like this to solve a question like this on the ASVAB and PiCat. As I said, if you still have to do this, you need to practice a little bit more watching my video called Multiplying Polynomials. So that is that one.